Oi, 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 what's up guys, what's good, Gucci girls, Tracy fam and all the other Gucci boys and e-girls. What's up guys, my name is Peter Tracy, welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. Yes, it's been, a, it's been two weeks. Oh my god, yes, I know, too long. But today I have a special tutorial for you. It is how you can shatter, how you can shatter every object in your video or you can turn it into dust. It's also like in the videos that Falco Punch does and, it's, and that's the examples from Falco Punch. Or for example, my video. Great, 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 yes, I know. And before we get started, smash the subscribe button and click the bell as well to get notified when I drop a new video. And join the Tracy family, guys. What you doing if you haven't done it yet? Click that! And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Peter Tracy. There you will always be up to date. Now, let's get started. First of all, you have to understand how the video works. So, there are three components. First of all, the background. Yes, the background is very important. The light should not change if you stand before the camera or on the side. It should always be the same because otherwise we don't have the really cool effect. The second layer is when you do things. So for example, you walk around, you jump, you open a door, millions of options, but you choose what you want to do. Third layer is the freeze layer, the frozen segment. You take a specific frame and freeze it frame for a longer time and that's the part we're gonna shatter. So just to sum everything up, you need a few seconds where you are not in front of the camera like this. Then you need a few seconds in front of the camera where for example, you turn around and punch the camera. And it's that, that's it, that's all. That's the two things you're gonna record. And now let's get started because now we have to go to the computer because this is not possible on the phone. All right, now here, welcome to my PC. Now you have to know which app you wanna use. And this, is, or you have to use, and uh, this is After Effects. So now when you open After Effects, <coughs> so new composition, and yes, composition one, we're gonna just call it swag, yes. After you recorded your videos, now you have to know this is our start. Give it a little more for the music later. So, it will be about here. So we're gonna, first, we're gonna split the layer now two times. So first here, where are we gonna like shatter? So you go to file, and then you go to split layer here. Now we have to split another time and when we are gone so it will be about here edit split layer again and you want to split layer here again this is our background so we're gonna put this down here this is the first one where we jump now then comes the freeze frame and we go what we're gonna do is that we put this right here to the front because and it should be the same as the layer where we go down again and where we go away. So guys, what we're gonna do next now is that we're gonna click on that layer, go to here with the right click and then we go to time and freeze frame. Yes, that's our freeze frame now. So the next part is that we're gonna have to make a mask and for the mask, we're gonna use the pen tool. Yes, you don't have to be that precise. It should be like, too far away the more accurate you are the better it will look afterwards but for the sake of the tutorial I won't make it too much it just like should be around here so you get the main idea of it because otherwise it will take ages now you can choose between two different effects it's called scatterize and scatter if you use scatter you're gonna burst into shards and when you sc use scatterize you will like turn into dust you're gonna use this here now all right scatterize here scatter now we can here it will be zero and here we're gonna make it like this you see guys 
And that's all the hocus pocus. Now we go to transform and we're gonna go with the opacity of the transform. Here is like 100. And here we want zero. Perfect. So guys, now if you want more, cut this for example, make it shorter here. Now I come in through the door. Perfect, now we're gonna cut this up to here. Put this over there. Now I'm suddenly coming through the door. Ooh, right here, I wanna split it again right here. The same thing again, we're gonna go to split layer. Don't forget the background. So here, edit again split layer so now this is our background put this completely down we want to do again again we're gonna right click go to time and go to freeze frame perfect we're gonna have to do that what we did already again we're gonna start by cutting out effect we go to shutter then we want to go to rendered, of course. Shape, we want glass. Now, what we want to do is, guys, here, a force. And then we go to, we want it to be zero. And about here, let's see, here. We want it to be just less, more, like this. Here. So perfect. And now this is what it looks like. Please strike me down. Let me get closer to the Nice. So guys, I hope I gave you a kind of main understanding how all the things work. I won't do tutorials like that that often, but I did this because it was highly requested by every one of you because every one of you wanted to know how Farco Punch does his things and this is the way how he does it. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below before you ask. No, it is not available for any phone. You have to do it with, the P with your PC and with that program. I don't know any other programs which can do this effect, but I hope you enjoyed the tutorial guys. Now you can also add some music afterwards and put some effects to it as you like. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Also, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and click the bell as well to get notified when I drop a new video. And yes, thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to stay crazy guys. Peace!